Good, Good morning, morning everybody. From we Cozumel. are in yeah, we Sorry. are in Cozumel. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a tour that we're going on today. It's like part Mayan ruins, part tequila culinary. tasting, part te uh, culinary tour. So we're gonna take you guys along. Yeah. Tell you what's going on. We're gonna make our lunch today. Oh, are we? I believe so. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Checked in for our excursion. Got a special bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> Playa Mia and Beach Park. Yep. So that's, uh, I guess that's where we're going. We're in Tiki Hut number one. Tiki Hut number one here in Cozumel. I yeah. thought it would take a lot longer. They've, they've really got it to a, a down to a science here. Yeah. I mean, I thought the, the pier was going to be a lot longer than it was. It wasn't too bad. And well, we were the only ship, so yeah, I think that helped right also. Now. We had to go through security. Dogs were sniffing our bag. Yeah. Which, that's different. Yeah. But and they checked all bag. They checked my bag. Yeah, they didn't check mine. But well. Mine's all camera gear. Yeah. Dog didn't smell anything worthwhile. They got us lined up. My name is Caesar for the day. <laughs> <laughs> it was bus number 61, the red one. And Jesus is our driver. He has white shirt, long sleeve, and also jeans. All right? OK, thank you. Thank you. They got the AC cranked. Yeah, we're in a trolley. I like that we have a trolley and not a bus <laughs> or a van. Yeah. But you can see out the windows too. <laughs> yeah. Jade come from? There is pink, there is purple, but pink and purple you get Asian. The one that you get in this area, it's verde, green. The stairs, you call it in English, invert the staircase. So the steps are facing down. Right? Plaza. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a city. We just finished uh, the Mayan ruins here on Cozumel. It was San Giovese mm -hmm. or? San Giovese, I think. San Giovese. Um, they required a separate permit to uh, much in the way of camera equipment in, so uh, we could just kind of chop what we could. I uh, couldn't really talk about it while we were in there, but it was pretty neat. This is uh, the only Mayan temple dedicated to their moon goddess, which they had many, many gods, but only one goddess. It's a chill or chill. something. Yeah, something chill. like that. Or if I'm sure I'm butchering it, but it's it's chill or yeah, some some along those lines. Um, anyway, it's uh, very interesting. It's supposed to be a lot larger than like Tulum, which I went to many years ago. Um, so it was pretty cool, but it is hot as blazes out here today. Yeah, mosquitoes are starting to get us. Yeah, mosquitoes are bad. Let's see what my little thermometer here says. 93 degrees. That's why you don't go to the 
Caribbean in August. Yeah. <laughs> Water. But now we get to... But it's really cool, though, and I've enjoyed um, yeah. this tour. It's, it's neat. Mm -hmm. Not cool. Neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Temperature. -wise. Yeah. Palomo. Cheers. A Palomo, yes. Palomo. Uh, we're here at our tequila tasting, so I'm going to take you along and see what we got to see. Towards but everybody's me moving, go. so we got to go. Then we get a little bit nicer. Now extra añejos, 12 years in a barrel. Definitely for tequila tasting time. Reposado. Yeah. Reposado. This is reposado. Reposado. Yes, this is uh, real tequila, non-export tequila, 38%. All right, so breathe in, hold your breath. Hold your breath, take the shot, the next one. How was it, guys? Wow. We drink too much. Headaches, hangovers, all that comes from the sugars. <laughs> right? Wow. So this is an añejo. Now we're going to try like extra. Silver and gold, the younger the stronger. You drink these, but your friends you don't like so much, okay? <laughs> <laughs> añejo, the one we just had. Really good friends and family. The next two, 12 and 18 here, just me, myself, and I. Okay? We're going to try the 12 year now. Same thing, we're all gonna drink together every time, right? So if I'm always the one that gets shorted, and I did not today. Yeah. 12 beer. Can't drink it yet. Yeah. We all drink together. Yeah, like twice as much as I do. <laughs> you want me to share a little with you? Nah, sorry. Right. <laughs> okay, everybody, guys, salud. 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 I see why you keep making yourself. Well, Tell the difference? Yeah. yeah. Look, look, we have wow. this Yeah, very okay. Open. On this, unfortunately, on this, don't get paid, right? They only produce like 300 bottles a year. We go through five, six of this one a day in the case. That's the one that we produce. Okay? Wow. I have to give you a few more shots before I give you the price. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Pina Colada. Wait. Next. Salad. Yeah, that's what I come. Next one. Syrup. Cesar. Everybody, salud. 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 I think the passion fruit's better. Some of you guys think? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. passion fruit's good. We're, we're going to try We're gonna try seven more. Okay, we're almost done. Right? Seven more. We got, we have two they got to do that before they'll tell us the price on that big bottle. Okay. Amaretto tequila. I think I'm gonna like this one because you smell it. Oh my god, it's it's a nutty almondy nose. Yep. And I think I'm just gonna get a straight one. I might like get two. Huh? Two? Okay. Well, because I wasn't gonna get a plate in one, but you can carry them. You can put this. Everybody, salute. Salute. Look, we can turn the last one. This is white chocolate, dark chocolate, coffee, tequila. Wow. Mm. wow. That'll be great in my tea. Yeah. I feel good now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the tequila was good. The, the, those aged the tequila were really, really good. I wanted to buy a whole lot of them. Oh, yeah. We wanted to buy some of them, but the prices were kind of absurd. No, they were just a little more than we wanted to spend. Yeah. I mean, Sure. You're talking about like ultra premium US prices. So, but it's 100%. Yeah, and they don't export, so it's like, no, they're just exporting from Mexico. <laughs> so one bottle at a time. If you want them, bring money. It's yeah. worth it. I mean, they're delicious. I mean, the, the, what, the, just those flavored tequilas were like, 50 bucks for a bottle and then the aged tequilas started you know were 100 150 300 dollars for a bottle and it's like no no out of our price range but now we get to go cook or i think learn to cook back on the bus back in decent ac we're headed out
of happy. <laughs> It's a sofa. Well, it's a sofa tortilla. Yeah. This is how, then, this is how different we both are. Well, you just put a lot of sauce over. You can't even see the because sofa. Because the sauce is delicious. That's why I want more of it. <laughs> This has been an amazing excursion. Yeah. I enjoyed it very much. So, Cesar, uh, we'll put his information down in the description. Uh, he does do private tours as well as uh, through the cruise ship, like ours is. So, yeah, if you like what you saw, look up with Cesar. Is it good? All right, we're going to try eating this stuff now. Hey, I'm a pretty good cook. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Tasty with that tamarind sauce. Yeah, very good. So, so, so good. Oh my gosh. I yeah. cook really well. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this was one of the best excursions I think yeah. ever. It, it, it was a lot of fun. We did we did a variety of things. I mean, it's been a long excursion, but we had a Mayan rune, we uh, did a tequila tasting, and we had a cooking class. I mean, that's, and we that's made pretty some awesome. New friends and, yeah, yeah made met some a bunch of different people. people. <laughs> There's another friend of ours right there. Oh, right in front of us. <laughs> We're talking to the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, the next time we come to Cozumel, we might have to check this place out. Playa uh, Mia. Playa Mia. Yeah, we've got a. There are a bunch of these little beach resorts here that you can get out. Uh, and stuff. 
yeah, all day passes to or whatever. But I mean, this one's got a lot of different things you can do. Yeah, we had to open more in the culinary class, which is kind of cool. But yeah. you're staying kind of busy too, so. I know. I mean, I did want another one, but I can't eat and drink at the same time. Yeah, I had a beer that okay. I ended up leaving on the table because I didn't have any hand security <laughs> with all the equipment I'm carrying. Yeah, and your wife left you to go to the baño. Yeah. We're ready to go back. We're headed back to the ship. Yeah. And we'll catch up with you then. Good evening. Good evening, guys. So we got back from Cozumel. Our first time to Cosmo together. Yeah. Uh, looks like there's a lot of neat things to do there. I can see why people go to the beach resorts because there are tons of them. <laughs> Lots of the all inclusives. Uh, the place that we stopped at, uh, Playa, Playa Mia. Uh, it looked like they had all kinds of really neat activities from cigar rolling to culinary classes. Well, we took the culinary class. Yeah, we took the culinary class, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and it was good. Fun. A lot of fun to get to cook and to uh, try new spices and flavors and uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. We are back on board. Showered. Showered. We have sailed away. Dressed for dinner. And dressed for dinner, so we're headed to Blue tonight. Right. Yes, because our main dining is six o'clock, and it is um, after. it's after seven. You've got four main dining rooms that you can go to at your assigned time. Uh, since we have the Aqua class uh, room, we can access Blue, which also gives us access to all the menus yes. at those four dining rooms. Plus, Blue has its own menu. Which is kind of cool. First night Sunday, we just ordered straight off the blue menu tonight. I, I think, think I'm going to ask I'm for gonna try the to branch menu. out. Yeah, I saw some stuff on some of the other menus. It looks interesting. Yeah. So. Look at all the menus. Make my choice. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. We'll take you guys along. Let's go to dinner. process of uh, Very trying to order off of the other menus. Um, I guess you can just order anything. Uh, but the menu that they brought you was just like two of the other restaurants. It, I think. Was, it said Tuscan, but Tuscan it had numbers. Cyprus, which is the Greek, and Tuscan in it. And then it had just classic stuff. And then so. you can get from Normandy and Cosmopolitan as, as well, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is what you did. Yeah. A little bit disappointing in the, the shrimp. They were a little, tiny a little shrimp bit underwhelming. Like yeah, it was a little underwhelming, and, unfortunately. And the baked brie did not look like it was baked. It looked like it was some kind of fried. prepped and deep fried thing because they got over fried and there was no cheese in, in one of those two little balls. Um, it's not really what I would expect from baked brie, but the French onion soup is good. Of course, it's a favorite. So the beef wellington was very good. Very tender piece of beef. Well, unfortunately, they're continuing their obsession with beets. <laughs> I have more beets on my plate, but... Color. Knows. The ham seared sirloin, aged sirloin. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Herb, butter, everything's wonderful. I'm so glad that I got this. I'm glad it was way better than the starters. I would like to welcome Charlie Mack to the world and our family. We couldn't be happier. Cheers. Cheers. And that was for Waverly. <laughs> Gotta get all the grandkids in here. And everybody knows Cameron, our favorite redhead. <laughs> and, and Sawyer. And Sawyer. And Hudson and Kentley. Yep. Can't forget them all. No, no. 
We love them and we miss them very much. This is Cherry Jubilee. I have the chocolate lava cake with coffee ice cream and a banana. So tell me about your Cherry's Jubilee. Well, I probably wouldn't have ordered it if Corey didn't want to try it also. There's really not much to say about it because I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but the ice cream was kind of melted in it when I got it because I, I think it was warm when they put it in there. It doesn't have a lot of taste to it, yeah. in my opinion. Looked like it might have been sitting for a few minutes. Maybe, yeah. maybe. But I didn't know what to expect, so like I can't really give a, a good... I don't know, description on it. <laughs> okay, I had the chocolate lava cake with coffee ice cream and a type of a banana thing. Um, the chocolate lava cake was not like the lava cakes I've had before, so a little bit different. I mean, it was tasty enough. Oh, the coffee ice cream was okay. Right? Yeah, I mean, you would, I would have expected it to be just filled and bursting with, you know, Lava, the lava part, the, the fudge on the inside wasn't really there, but uh, it tasted okay. Coffee ice cream is good, not overwhelming, but uh, not bad. Recap on dinner. All right, yeah. I know we talked a little bit about it, but uh, we'll start at the beginning. Yeah, so baked brie. Baked brie with an almond crust. Maybe a four or five out of ten. Then I got the French onion soup, which looked which great. Was excellent. Yes, it was very good. I'd give it an eight out of ten. Wow. Yeah. And then you had the shrimp cocktail. That was uh, very underwhelming. I would say on that, I'd give it a three out of ten. Then moving on to the entrees, I had the beef Wellington. And rating? Uh, I would give that seven out of ten. That was really good. Yeah, okay. I enjoyed it. And mine was a pan-seared aged sirloin. And I give that a 10 out of 10. Totally hit the spot. At, for tonight, that hit the spot. It tasted so good. It made me feel good. And then for dessert, I had the chocolate lava cake. Yeah, I'd for give me. the chocolate lava cake maybe a five. It was it was okay. It was acceptable. And your cherries jubilee. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, give it a meh. Yeah, meh. <laughs> Three or four out of, yeah. out of 10. So, yeah. kind of a mixed bag tonight. It uh, was a mixed bag. From the Blue dad, Restaurant. Excellent. The entree was... The Shirley's Jubilee and the Chocolate Lava Cake... It was blue. ...were both blue creations. And yeah. So, that's not the best reflection on what they were supposed to do. And I will say that we ordered the first time that we went to Blue on the new menu. And Exclusive. It was, and it was yeah. great. Everything it was great. Was wonderful. Everything was great the first night. So, it just might this, be, uh, you know... Might just be our taste or... Maybe. Or the selections, or yeah. who knows. And I, and I felt like the server wasn't the, the, the happiest of the nicest tonight, so yeah. I didn't Take feel like Take everything with a grain customer. of salt. That's just our experience. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're not trying to be again. hypercritical. We're no. just giving you our opinion. Correct. So. And we're not going to hold it against Blue because we're coming back. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, we sure will. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wander around and see what else we can find to do tonight, and yeah. we'll be back. Not a good showing in trivia. Seven. Wow. Seven out of 20. This is the worst that Corey has ever done okay. in trivia. It's a tough trivia. Eighties dance party. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready for the eighties dance party. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. Yep. She's a fan of the 80s. Woo! Well, then you're certainly in the right place. As you know, my name is Alexia Cruz, director, but I can't do any of this fun stuff without the true team. The Lip Rock team. Very good, DJ, hit it! Well, okay, they've got four. I got your mic. Well, that's fine. All right. Two, DJ. Hi. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Three, DJ. 
So the 80s party, tell that, me your perspective. <laughs> well, it was... Because you had a different perspective than it, I did. It was pretty cool. Makes me uh, wish I still had some of my pastel uh, blazers and... <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Miami Vice. And pastel <laughs> white beaters from the 80s. Might, might have to put together an 80s outfit for, for 80s night. Because you know they're coming fun. back more and more and more. They are, yeah. yeah. You need the leg warmers and the... <laughs> oh, God. Leg warmers. And I was actually wrong about the uh, the fanny packs. I Did guess you look they, it up? Yeah, I looked it up. I guess they became a thing in the 80s and then the died out in the packs. 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 80s? I don't remember fanny packs in the 80s. I remember them in the 90s getting real popular, but... Oh, well. You're in the wrong decade, though. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. But this ends a pretty amazing day. Well, I mean, I didn't give my perspective for the 80s. All right, well, what was your perspective? Well, I know you, you, <laughs> you were down there with the right answers and then they didn't take them. <laughs> because he spoke too soon. So what happened was round two, they were going to 80s rock and who knows something about 80s rock? This one right here. Yeah. And so <laughs> Corey's like, she does, she does. So I started going, they're like, okay, don't fall down the stairs now. <laughs> And so I was kind of in it the entire time after that, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. And I and I kept looking up at you every so often, and I was just like, "Are you videoing this or what? Or like, what do you see?" And it was so fun. It was Cosmel, fun. Cosmel was a lot of fun today. Yes. That yes. tour. I'm gonna link uh, Cesar's information down in the description. If you ever go to Cosmel, he says he does do private tours as well. Uh, he was a great tour guide today. Yes. There's no connection between us other than the fact that we paid for his tour, tour today guide. and he was a great tour guide and we love supporting local uh, local business owners. It was just a great day all around. It was. Dinner, you know, was a hit and miss on some yeah. things. Dinner was kind of a hit and miss, but uh, we had fun. We had a great yeah, day. Good. I wasn't sure what we would do in Cozumel, because, you it's know, Cozumel. <laughs> it's Cozumel, but it impressed me. I, I'm looking forward to going back and checking out some of those beach clubs. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Still, no FOMO. No, no FOMO. FOMO. That's right. All right, guys, until next time. Good night. From peaks to ties. See you on the next ride. Bye, guys.